So Jay-Z and Yo Gotti has decided that all that mess that's happening down in Mississippi, nah, homie. Y'all better straighten that out or we gonna have these lawyers coming for you. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, Jay Z and Yo Gotti has heard enough of the BS that is going on inside of the Mississippi prison system. Okay, so first thing I want to say is shout out to the Clarion Ledger. And uh, I believe that the uh, two people that wrote this article is Alyssa Zhu and Jimmy E. Gates. Um, shout out to them. So uh, basically, this article right now that we're gonna be that we're gonna be discussing, and a couple of other things, not just this article, but I'm gonna read y'all a couple of passages out of here. Um, it says Jay Z, Yo Gotti threaten to sue Mississippi over inhumane, unconstitutional prisons. Before we go any further, I want to point something out. I had a comment inside of, uh, by a Kiwi, let me get the name correct, because, you know, sometimes we need to let people stand by their stupidity, that's important, so their name is Kiwi Fruit, that's K-I-W-I-I-F-R-U-I-T, Kiwi Fruit, and what they basically said was, is, is prison supposed to be a vacation with laughing emojis, now, real quick, so we can get a clear understanding of what the problem or some of the problems that that it, we're hearing about is happening in the Mississippi prison system. One, uh, they have no power. So apparently they have no power. Two, I saw a a actual a video today that the trays that they're eating on has is dirty, not just with regular dirt, but with rust. I don't even know how they happen to do that because as far as I know, the damn things are supposed to be plastic. Anyway, so also moldy food is being sold, is being served, and it was literally here in one person's food. So yeah, so that so that's what they're serving them. And in addition to that, they have a individual who had um they, they was like yelling out into the dark because there was no there was no light. And they had an individual that was trying to let people know that he has a, a person in that cell, next cell, that has uh, diabetes and they had not gotten insulin shots. So, Mr. Kiwi Fruit, who thinks that pe people being in prison and already having their rights stripped of them, now being, you no know, fed moldy food, not allowed to have power, not allowing to be able to shower uh not being given proper proper medical assistance like insulin you think that that's a joke shout out to you because you think that these things are jokes anyway they're not and no prison isn't a vacation anyway just so we could be clear on a couple of things so uh the yo Gotti article starts off and says rap mogul jay-z and hip-hop artist yo Gotti wrote a letter to letter uh, to two top Mississippi officials Thursday protesting the conditions of the Mississippi prisons and demanding change. The letter contained a threat. Jay-Z and Yo Gotti are ready to sue the state if prison conditions are improved. Real quick, I want to let y'all know something and get a real quick understanding. You want to know... <laughs> I'm laughing and shit, but this isn't funny. Do you want to know why more rich people aren't arrested? Because the more people that you have in prisons that have the financial support or the ability to then try to enact change to a corrupt system would be against the people that want to have a corrupt system bottom line do you understand what i'm saying so when you get upset why there aren't more weinsteins in prison why they aren't more just rich people in prison in general that means that they have to then raise the quality of the prisons so these people wouldn't be able to then sue them for have for feeding them shit like moldy food and having no power in the facility. 
So just so you can be clear. So when people always say, oh, they just want to arrest us because we black. No, they want to arrest you because you're poor. If you was poor and white, you'd be going to jail too. Don't worry about it. Anyway, um, it goes on to say, um, an outbreak of deadly gang violence that left five dead in Mississippi prisons has brought the system's long running problems to a sharp relief into sharp relief and under national security um scrutiny pardon me okay so a couple of things i want to say about this real quick and that is yes gang violence is a thing but every prison has gangs so that means that if every prison had its gangs but this is the only prison that the gang violence is raising to such a level that this problem that they currently having they're now blaming all of this on gang violence I guess the gangs didn't pay the electricity bill. That's why there wasn't no power in the place. I guess, you know, the gangs decided that that dude wasn't going to get any insulin. And I also think the gangs decided that everyone, including themselves, were going to get fed moldy food with hair in it. So, okay, you, gang violence exists. We know this. But you are the prison systems, and this is your job to mitigate these problems. So, yeah. Don't pass the buck. Anyway, with that being said, the gang violence is an issue. We're not trying to uh, minimize that. We're just saying that it's literally the prison's job, job to run the facility. If you're saying that you can't run the facility because the gangs are running the facility and therefore you can't do stuff like, you know, have power, I don't know what to tell you. Anyway, the letter addressed the Mississippi governor, Phil Bryant, Bryant and Mississippi uh, Department of Corrections Commissioner Priscilla. Uh, it looks like Felic. I don't know what the it P E L I C I A Hall. What in the hell? Anyway, mentions frequent prison lockdowns, violence, and staffing shortages, and inmates. Uh, who are forced to live in squalor with rats that crawl over them as they sleep on the floor, having been denied access to mattresses and cots. So, um, a while back, I showed y'all a picture on the lives. If you ever pop into the lives in Morning Coffee or Tonight Show, and I showed y'all one specific picture that had like a, a it was a tiny room, probably like ten by ten. Prop like literally the room is probably like ten by ten, maybe maybe twelve by twelve, and um. They had four people sleeping on the floor and one person sleeping on the actual mattress. So this is basically the situations in which they're talking about. Now, we just talked about all the situations. This is what I want to say. I want to say big up to uh, Jay-Z. I want to say big up to Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti and Jay-Z. Jay-Z specifically. This is the first time I've actually heard about Yo Gotti getting involved in social issues. So this is not a slight to you. Thank you, my brother. We hope you push on and you continue to uh, involve yourself in these type of issues that we have in our country. But uh, just so we could be clear, Jay-Z gets his feet wet a lot. Jay-Z should be looked at very favorably in our community. Jay-Z makes his lawyers available. Jay-Z supports financially different things jay-z makes things happen for our uh community as a whole for anybody that's mad at him about some records that he allegedly allegedly stole or because you did a business deal or two that you allegedly allegedly got fleeced on a lot of people get stuff stole from them and a lot of people get fleeced on deals for an individual to having have done all of those things to now be taking the forefront and to be pressing on the way that he is and trying to make sure that us as black people and as minorities just in general are treated with some type of uh, esteem is, tr is treated with some type of, um, you know, not like we're nothing. You have to praise him for that. If you want to be mad at Jay-Z for anything else, it's just, you know, be mad at him. But if you're going to out... If you're not going to look at what he's doing in this particular situation, what he did with the 21 Savage situation, um, what he did with the who was trying to get out of a record deal when he helped them. Um, they, they had a bad record deal situation with a uh, little one of the littles, uh, Uzi Vert Lucifer. He had like a situation that was going on with him and he helped out. This guy is actively out there trying to help the community. Period. He got um, he helped to get. Uh, Colin Kaepernick uh, tryout. So, you know, salute the Jay Z. I just want to make this video. I want to say salute the Jay Z. Of course, salute the Yo Gotti. Um, let me read you real quick the letter, just in case you haven't heard the letter. I read the letter real quick. 
Um, I read the whole passage so you can understand the context. It says uh, the prison problem has also caught the attention of Jay Z's entertainment company Rock Nation and hip hop artist Yo Gotti. They wrote a letter to the government to read a letter to the governor to address prison issues and said they are prepared to take legal action. The conditions in the prisons operated by the Mississippi Department of Corrections are absolutely inhumane and un unconstitutional. To see this happen so close to my hometown of Memphis. Memphis is truly devastating. That's why we're calling on Mississippi state leaders to take immediate action and rectify this issue. If they don't right this wrong, we're prepared to take legal action to provide relief for those who are incarcerated and their families. So that's the letter that Yo Gotti uh, sent to the prison systems. Obviously, they're ready to take legal matters into their hands. I'm. I think they should. I think the government. Let, just so we can be clear this particular prisons that they having these problems with um they're not on lockdown anymore the only one that's still on lockdown is parchment i believe the rest are not on lockdown anymore um i think the government should actively be suing the private prison and taking control over the private prison if they're not able to do their job this is just my opinion um anybody that let me know what y'all guys think put it down in the comment section i want to know what y'all guys think about that about what you think about all of this uh the jay-z involvement the yo Gotti involvement whether these people should be sued or not i think they should be sued but you know what do i know anyway um with that being said uh like comment subscribe join the notification gig hashtag bronx bombers let's get it i love y'all take care of each other hug the kids for me i haven't forgotten about you and that's all i got on this one I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.